during an appearance Friday on NRA TV, an anonymous Stoneman Douglas High School teacher revealed a stunning truth bomb about Parkland mass shooting survivor David Hogg and his merry band of demagogues. There have been a lot of my students that have spoken to me about it privately and they've told me word for word as well as paraphrasing that these kids don't speak for all students, she said, according to the Daily Caller. Now flashback to March 24, when, prior to the start of the so-called March for Our Lives, Hogg showed up at ABC News to spout the following diatribe to America. Today we are going to start a revolution. This is the beginning of a lifelong marathon not only for me but for my generation. We are sick and tired of the inaction here in Washington and around the country in different state capitals, and in different cities, of politicians that are owned by the NRA, and not listening to their constituents, and the future of America. We are the children. We are making our voices heard and we will change America with or without these politicians, and today is the beginning of that revolution. Question, who the heck did Hogg mean by we? I ask since it's clear that Hogg does not speak for everyone in his generation. In fact, recent polls suggest he speaks for less than 50% of his peers. A USA Today poll taken after the Parkland shooting found fewer than half of students 13 to 17 think tightening gun laws and background checks would prevent mass shootings. USA Today reported a bit over a week ago. Pro-gun high school students told USA Today the school shooting problem is complex, but they maintain guns aren't the problem. They say more can be done as it relates to school security, mental health and background checks. Some argue those calling for gun control are uninformed about and unfamiliar with firearms. Well, well, well. Dovetailing back to the Stoneman Douglas High School teacher, she noted as well that, even as Hogg and his crew of bandits continue to gleam in the spotlight granted to them by the leftist media, their traumatized peers back at school are suffering. Every single day since we've come back to school, I have kids out in the hall crying because of the emotional toll that it's taken, and we haven't started to heal yet, because we're in the news every single day, and every single day there are helicopters circling overhead she said. Does Hogg care? Of course not. He's too busy retweeting garbage that makes no sense, not to mention joining the hate pence movement and disputing factual news stories. All this said, Hogg definitely represents something, though, namely, the narcissism, egotism and obliviousness of youth. In that respect, he's admittedly very similar to his peers and even me, in fact, since I was just as cocky and sure of myself at his age. The difference is that I didn't have a left-wing media industrial complex exploiting my ignorance for its benefit. In that regard, Hogg and his merry band of demagogues are quite unique. And no, that's not a good thing. Like and share this video on Facebook and Twitter if you agree. Don't forget to support this channel by clicking on the donation link down below and subscribing so you never miss any of our trending reports. What do you think about this report? Scroll down to comment below. Now if you are seeking the latest trends in fashion, and electronics and gifts and more at the best prices, please feel free to visit www.atthesmall.com once again that is www.at this. More. Dot com.